when you have that amount of firepower within a vehicle, you're probably up to no good. And he was in a man's in custody after police say he ran from them and then shot at deputies during a traffic stop. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. This happened around midnight. It started on Route 45 near Thomasboro over here, and it ended here in Champaign at Olympian Drive and County Road 1900 North. Lewis is facing weapons charges along with attempted murder. That's where we find WCI3's Courtney Bunting right now. She is at the scene. Now, Courtney, he traveled quite a ways. That's right, Jennifer. About 10 miles is how far he went till he ended up here where he crashed at Olympian and Boardwalk. Now, I talked to several neighbors who live in this area, and of course, by the time he ended up here, those shots were fired well away near Thomasboro, so they just heard squealing tires and saw police lights, but they were still concerned about what was going on, and now Lewis is facing serious charges. A night of patrolling for two Champaign County Sheriff's deputies quickly turned into something very dangerous. They were on Route 45 near Thomasboro. They see this, this vehicle um, speeding on Route 45. They get in behind it to call in the license plate. Keep in mind their lights, their lights are not going right now at this point in time. An occupant of the vehicle fires approximately four rounds at the sheriff's car. Luckily, no one was hit, but it didn't end there. The vehicle is then pursued from Route 45, south to I-74, westbound on the Interstate 74, northbound on Prospect Avenue, and ultimately the vehicle crashes at, this, at the intersection of Olympian and Boardwalk. Three people started running after the crash. Deputies arrested two of them. One was Lawrence Lewis, who investigators say shot at deputies. Champaign County State's Attorney Julia Reitz says Lewis already had two pending gun cases. Clearly he's a danger to the public and he is a flight risk um, given the fact that he continues to um, commit very serious offenses. Along with the two arrests, investigators recovered three guns, including one with what police call a drum magazine. This magazine, this extended drum, would allow you to um, hold you know, 50 to 100 rounds in a pistol. That is not a defense um, amount of ammunition and stuff. That is an attack amount of ammunition. In addition to those two gun cases that he's already dealing with, he also has charges and convictions dating all the way back to 2010. Those include gun-related charges, drug possession, as well as domestic battery. That's why Reed says it's so important that he stays locked up. Reporting live, I'm Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Courtney, thank you so much. Now, the state's attorney's office asked for Lewis's bond to be $10 million. That's because they say he's a flight risk, but the judge kept it at $1 million. He's facing a maximum 90 years behind bars. A